Hey guys, this is Dr. Glitch and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase the download speed on your PS5 by almost up to 10x using the exact same internet connection that you have right now. I'm not going to be telling you guys to switch up your service provider or none of that shit. I'm just going to help you guys get faster download speeds and fuck off without wasting any more of your time. The only thing that I'll ask you guys in return is to follow my Twitter account because a lot of you guys have been wanting to know about the God of War giveaway update and I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be posting the winner of all my giveaways on my twitter account so if you guys want to stay updated make sure you follow my twitter with that being said without wasting any more of your time let's just get straight to the video all right now before i show you guys the steps let me just quickly show you the download speed that i'm getting right now so that we could compare it to the speed that we're gonna get later on in the video after we've done all the steps just so you guys know how big of a difference these steps are actually gonna make in order to improve your download speed all right guys so in order to check our connection speed we're gonna head over to settings and then go on to network Go to test internet connection speed and just scroll down and at the end you're gonna see connection speed for download and upload now this might take about 30 to 40 seconds to actually load up your download and upload speed but just to let you guys know this has got nothing to do with your internet connection speed all right so as you guys can see we've got about 28 megabytes per second of download speed and about four megabytes per second of upload now this in my opinion is pretty bad it's certainly not the best you could have especially now that every decent game that you can find on the playstation store is over 100 gigs in file size which could easily take you more than 10 hours just to download the game and we ain't got time for that shit guys now without any further ado let's just get straight to the steps Okay, so the first step that I want each and every one of you guys to do is connect your console using a LAN cable. This is just as important as all the other steps and you guys probably don't realize how important using a LAN cable really is because I know for a fact that a lot of you guys still play on Wi-Fi. Using a LAN cable is not only going to give you guys a stable internet connection throughout your download process, but also while you're actually playing games. For those of you guys that have already been using a LAN cable, I know you guys want me to move on to the next step, so let's move on. After connecting the LAN cable, what you guys want to do is head over to settings once again, and then go on to network, and what you want to do is scroll down and go on to network settings, and then scroll down again and go on to set up internet connection. And then once you're here guys, you're going to be clicking on wired LAN 1 because that's the connection that you're using. And once you've clicked on it, it's going to say connected. And then right after that, you're going to be pressing the options button on your controller. And then scroll all the way down to Wi-Fi frequency bands. Now by default for everyone, it's going to be set to automatic. What you want to do is scroll down and set it to 5 gigahertz because it's going to keep fluctuating between 5 gigahertz to 2.5 gig 4 gigahertz, excuse me. And that's not what we want when we're downloading a game. We want the max output. So once this is done, scroll down and go on to MTU settings. And you're going to be changing your MTU settings to manual and reducing it by 25 to 50 points. Now what this is going to do is it's going to reduce the size of the packets your bandwidth is bringing in which means that it could actually bring in more packets uh, with the da same download speed which means your downloads are going to be a lot faster. Now once we're done with this we're going to scroll up and change the DNS settings to manual as well. Now we've been using D uh, Google's DNS servers for a very long time in some of my previous videos but I've just found a DNS server that is actually faster than even Google's own servers and this is the one that we're using for this video. So for the primary DNS you're going to be typing in 4 times 9 which is going to be 9.9.9.9. .9 .9 .9. And then for the secondary DNS, we're going to be typing in 149.112.112 and then again 0.112. So once this is done, there's nothing else that needs to be changed. We're going to hit OK and we're going to wait for our internet to be connected again. And then now we're going to go back. We're going to go all the way back and test our internet connection speed to compare to the speeds that we were getting early on in the video. And as you guys can see, we're actually getting 230 megabytes per second of download speed, which is insane comparing it to the speed that we were getting early on, which was only about 20, 28 megabits per second. And if you can see my friend through the TV screen, we were actually even talking about how crazy it is. Uh, that you can just change a few settings and increase your download speed dramatically 
and that's how useful this is guys now just so you guys know that this wasn't just on paper let's just test it out by downloading call of duty modern warfare 2 again and see what kind of download speeds we're getting so as you guys can see we went from having five hours left to just about 20 minutes left which is a massive improvement if you consider that we've only changed a few settings on our console and we're able to get such good improvements in our download speeds now I do want to let you guys know that I spoke to a few of my buddies and they told me that it didn't work for them the very first time that they tried it and what they basically did was they went back to default settings and tried it again the second time and for every single one of them that tried it, it actually did work. So if you guys experience this as well, make sure to go back to default settings and restart your console and try it again and I'm pretty sure that it's going to work 100%. With that being said guys that was pretty much the video hope you guys find this video helpful and if you did please do not forget to leave a like to this video and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel thanks a lot for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next one